Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fadris bin Muhammad Hasri. Today I want to share all of you about halal food and its consequences on Muslims. Uh, before I continue about halal food and its consequences, uh, I want to share, I want to tell you about what is the term of halal and the term of haram. Uh, so the term of halal is when uh, halal halal is a uh, we can do it or permissible in Islam, um, but the opposite from haram. Haram is we can do it, we cannot do it. Or when the haram is put on uh, certain foods, we cannot eat it. Um, so um, there are uh, many things uh, uh, halal foods. There are many types of halal foods. So Islam encouraging us. A Muslim to consume halal food, but not haram food. Um, in um, the arguments in Al Quran, verse one hundred seventy-two, Surah Al Baqarah, it said, "Auzu bil Shaitan Rajim, Ya ayyuhal Lazina Amanu Kullu Bin Tayyiba Dima Razaqna Mushkuru Billahi Inan Kuntum Iya Mutamudun." Oh, you have believed. Eat from the good things which we have provided for you, and be grateful to Allah if it is indeed Him that you worship. From this, from this uh, argument, um, what I just said that Allah um, encouraging us or tell us to eat halal food and not haram food because it comes uh, many good things from. Just consume halal foods, but the opposite of hal haram foods because it will not uh, give us any good from it. Um, Allah also uh, the prohibition in eating haram foods also been said in uh, Al Quran, verse one hundred seventy three, Surah Al Baqarah. It said. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إنما حرم عليكم الميتة والدم والحم الخنزير وما أهل به لغير الله فمن اضطر غير باغ ولا عادي فلا إثم عليه إن الله غفور رحيم. This relation he has only forbidden to you the animals, blood, the flesh of swine, the flesh of swine, and that which has been dedicated to other than Allah. But whoever is forced by necessity, neither desire it or not transgressing its limit, there is no sin upon him. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Um, the three things that being said in this uh, Al Quran that is haram is uh, blood, uh, the animals, and the flesh of swine. But when it comes a certain situation that we don't have any foods to eat. Uh, so, this type of food we can eat, but a bit of the portion is a little, not until we satisfy it. This is for the halal foods in Islam, and the consequences from eating halal foods is it can ensure that our health. It can ensure. Oh, hello, hello. So, this is from me um, from the topic of halal food and its consequences of Muslims. So, an advice for all Muslims that we must eat halal foods and not eating haram foods because Allah prohibited us from take a single bit. Of what is haram in our life. So that's it from me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.